In this example, we will show you how easy it is in Tensor to draw this drawing, for example. So we'll view all. Let's keep the drawing down here so we can see what we need to draw. And we will start with the rectangle. We will enter a width of 60, height of 35, and our radius is 5. We will put the reference point in the middle of our rectangle. We will click on OK and we will start immediately drawing the side view which is for example the minus 70 the middle is 0 the width in this case is 5 the height is 35 and our radius is 0 and there's our side view we can now start drawing the holes by just defining a hole in the middle in on our reference point with a radius of two and a half we will deselect the arc we will draw a vertical line on x0 and one on y0 we can enlarge this and reduce the lines if we like to and we will move to attributes of these lines and we will make them green and center line okay so there's our hole now if we draw a few points in an arc so we can draw point coordinates which in this case would be if you would check this the distance is from there to there is 20 so we will draw a point on coordinates 10 0 we will cut this point and paste it back into the drawing by entering six copies and a total rotation of 360 degrees so there are our points so if I now select this arc and his center lines we will cut them we will then select all the points and paste reset and click on snap which means you will get a copy on each selected point so now we need to um, draw these bigger holes what I could do is use this hole and rescale it so I would move my axis to this snap point I would then select this arc and his center lines I would copy this I would deselect it, I would paste it, and I would enter a scale of, as our hole is 8 and the other one was 5, we can scale it up by dividing 8 to 5 is 1.6. So there's our bigger hole. We can then cut this hole. We can select, let's say, this rectangle and draw a point on each arc center which gives us four points and we can directly move to paste as we copy the bigger hole to our clipboard reset and snap and there's our there are our other holes now we will move on to dimension we can click on this line and move to draw dimension single which has a quick key of E so I can click on E so there's my other dimension I can then select a few arcs and holes let's say these holes and I can click on E so I get automatically all my dimensions over there I can move them just as I like to and I can continue dimensioning by clicking on E Tens will automatically ask me to define two points and this point and that point so I'll move them up a little bit I can then define the distance between these two points and this would give me I think the whole drawing already except the length of my rectangle so I would click on this point and 
at that point, which gives me 60. And you see my drawing is ready. If I would like to move this rectangle a little bit, I can uh, cut the rectangle and move it 10 millimeters to the right, for instance. So this looks a little bit better and my drawing is ready. I can only I only need to change this dimension and this dimension into a diameter dimension so I move to attributes of this dimension these dimensions and if I move to dimension and I would enter this sign and a letter O it would give me a diameter sign so there's our diameter sign and my drawing is ready so you can try to do this as well